Hey everyone, Corey here coming in to do my uh, weekly channel message. This is for the, this is midweek though, it's mid, it's May the 11th. And um, on this day on May the 11th, I am actually just preparing to go uh, live at 4.30 on unifiedtv.com. So if you want to check me out there, this is going to be posted. Uh, in time for you to be able to make it to the live. And if you don't, then you can always go watch the recordings. You can go check out any of the recordings in the library. Um, I have several in there now. There are some amazing speakers in there, some amazing messages and some great content. So go to Unified uh, TV or Unified.com, UnifiedTV.com, and you go into the library and you can check out some of us, some of the many presenters that are there. So um as I'm setting up to prepare, I wanted to get this weekly message out and this weekly message coming in with um, on the beginning of a Mercury retrograde. And as we're in this Mercury retrograde energy, as we're in that time of, I call it contemplation, rest, contemplation and awareness brings us back into recognizing that the past may resurface, things may come back up, you may have to deal with specific things in your life. You may find out things that you didn't really want to know, but you wanted to know. You may have been having feelings, gut feelings about things, about uh, things not being right in your life. And then all of a sudden, here it is looking right at you and you're like, oh, why? But it's so that you can, so that you can deal with it now so that you can face it, so that we stop avoiding, running, neglecting to see the things that we need to see, to take a stand for the essence of our, of our inner truth, to who we are on that deeper level, to release and let go of any connection, to be in of service to the ego's desires, um, to that of the, mm, how do we put this, to that of the, um, That of the ego's desire to show to show uh, empathy and compassion for the ego, for the self that is not really your truest self, and recognizing that that's not really you. So when you get so when you get so passionate and so caught up, and you have such passion, such a compassion for a cause. And the ego is responding and you're responding from the emotional self is that often you will neglect to see, you will neglect to have mercy, you will stop humanizing and stop seeing all involved with the essence of seeing from heart or from God eye. And when we don't see from the God eye, we see from ego eye and not ego. Eagle eye is very different. We'll see from ego eye, which means we see from fear. We see from conquer and defeat, no matter the cost. And it comes at a cost of people, of uh, innocent, innocent people, of bystanders, of, of all who should not have been affected. And sometimes you don't realize that we have the power to become that kind of enemy or to create that kind of chaos, to get caught in drama to get caught up in being such an activist towards a cause that you don't realize the cause and effect of the damage that's be the damage that's being left behind because of the the closed mindedness not being able to open our eyes to see what else is happening what is my you know what kind of damage is my action causing to have such ah for you know such a strong desire to be right or to to prove this to be right but in the meantime i'm turning a blind eye to my ego to the unhealthy to the bad behavior that is also causing collateral damage in other areas in other people's lives just to be right and we have to bring that into our awareness right now to rest to pause to reflect and ask if this is being you know am i approaching this from a way that's of my highest self or is this Am I responding and reacting from emotions? And we are moving into an energy, a shift in a time when we have to acknowledge that of ourselves, that you know, a lot of our the wisest choices and decisions are not made from that emotional self. They're made from that place, that desire within to do the right things for the right reason, 
from a place of grace, from a place of love, from a place of unconditional love, but also from a place of wisdom. And when we gain wisdom, when we stop, we pause, we reflect, and we gain the wisdom that we need to gain, when we stop and just say, you know what, what else am I not seeing? Did I read all the details? Did I get all the details? Or did I find the one thing that I wanted to be angry about that give me the opportunity to then run around angry, mad? Did I, did I read everything to find maybe there's a spark of hope? Maybe there's a little hook that we can work from and that we can work together from that place or that we can use that as a way to be able to bring forth the change that we need to make. So there's different avenues and ways rather than operating, responding, reacting from that memory bank of, of emotions. And on the flip side of emotions is that euphoria energy of joy. And from that place of joy is the existence of light. And when we shine a light upon our lives, when we shine a light upon our situations, when we shine a light upon those areas in our lives, there will often see something, we'll see things a little differently than we were seeing them before. We'll not be so caught up in the narrative and the objectives and the views that it's so, it becomes such a mishmash that the original intent is now lost. And when we remember our original intent, what was the original intention of coming here to earth? What was the original intention behind some of what we, what we wanted to stand for, where we, where we existed in? And bringing our awareness back to that, coming back full circle, stop, pause, reflect, take a deeper look, take a deeper breath. As you breathe deeper, you will connect more to the nuggets. You'll connect more to the essence of light. And when you connect to the light, you connect to a new truth. When you connect to a new truth, you discover maybe a new why. Or you may discover the whole power of what the why was really about and how to approach it from a place of love. How to approach things from that, from that conviction of not being guided by ego and fear or by the objectives of others but by that, with, that which is alive and active within us. And that is the light of that Christ consciousness, the God consciousness that is very present in us. And so bringing ourselves back to that, acknowledging that when we have to face and look at certain things that we don't respond and react in an old way, that we find a new way, we find a way. We become anew to the energy that we have and say, you know what, this is who I may have been. This is may I, how I may have responded and reacted, but that's not who I am today. And that's not where I'm coming from today. So how do I come from a place, guide me, guide me, spirit, to come from a place that is not of my human, not of my human energy, my material existence, not of that physical response and reaction of my emotions, but of that of spirit, guide me from spirit, guide me, guide me from faith, allow me to be present. Allow me to be present with my own light, shine a light upon, upon the power within me that allows me to be kind and caring and compassionate and respectful to all, to all who is involved, to gain wisdom, to, to react and respond from wisdom to read all details, to gain all, to gain, to gain perspective, to see clearly, and to walk with shoulders up, chin up, heart out, and come from a place of love. And I hope somehow this message helps, resonates with you in anything that you may have to deal with, anything that may be arising for you, any place where you want to become the keyboard warrior, where you just want to, you know, it's like you just instantly are so used to reacting, responding like that, that you stop, you take the breath, you breathe. Sometimes take 24 hours before you react. Give yourself 24 hours. It's amazing what can change in a 24-hour span. Write it out a thousand times. 
let it go and allow God to speak through you. Allow spirit to speak through you, whatever God means for you. Allow that beautiful light to speak through you. And when it speaks through you, it connects you to that deeper connection to that oneness. Be at one with that beauty, the essence of love that exists within you and watch how your world will change. Much love. Have a beautiful week. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.